everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joelle Simone Anthony. I'm also known as the Grave Woman and if this is your first time here I'm going to ask that you hit the subscribe button and check out all of the other videos that are on the channel for you to watch. Today's video is being brought to you on behalf of Funeral Divas. If you'd like to become a member of Funeral Divas or would like to learn more about what is going on over at Funeral Divas, you can visit www.eternalenterprises.net or connect with Funeral Divas on Instagram and Twitter at Funeral Divas. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, today we are talking about the 10 items that are in my personal hygiene kit and that I feel every funeral director, both male and female, can and should have in their on-the-go personal hygiene kit. Now the reason that I keep this kit is because as you guys have heard me say probably a million times in other videos, as funeral uh, directors and especially as funeral divas, we're always on the go. Many times our day can start the night before, especially if we're on call, there's always the chance that we do removal and before we have the opportunity to go back home and freshen up and take a shower we're called to perform another task or do another removal do an embalming or we just have families to meet with and services to conduct um as you guys know i've worked on both the funeral home and the cemetery side the embalming side and the funeral director side so these 10 items are pretty much universal and I think anybody in any profession can benefit from having them but especially in the funeral service industry. So the first item that I have is a, a little bag that I keep on hand at all times and my items are actually in this bag but I keep this bag on hand because it's small, it's easy to you know grab at a, a moment's notice and it fits inside my purse because I normally carry a pretty big purse and because I don't always have access to my purse I can take this bag out and put it in the hearse or the flower van or you know just throw it on the golf cart and keep it moving from there and always have the items that I'm going to need on hand. As I mentioned, my items are already in this bag. Everything that I'm going to show you guys is new except for two items. And the reason that that is, is because at the end of the video, I'm going to give you the opportunity to win everything that's shown. And the items that aren't new, you'll have the opportunity to also win a gift card, a $20 gift card to Target, where you can pick up the items um, that you prefer. So without further ado... The first thing that I always make sure that I have is a small travel size oral hygiene kit. And the reason for this is because you always want to make sure that your breath is fresh when you're talking to people. Like I said, sometimes we get called on in the middle of the night and we may brush our teeth before we leave home, I hope. But by 9 or 10 o'clock, you know, especially after you've eaten lunch or eaten breakfast, if you've had something with onions or garlic or something like that, you just want to make sure that your breath is fresh. So I always try to keep one of those. In addition to that, I always also try to have a few breath mints on hand at all times. You just pop one in your mouth before you meet with a family and that way you can ensure that your breath is fresh and non-offensive to those who you're communicating with. And second to the oral hygiene, another item that I always try to have on hand is hand sanitizer. You guys know that we're touching everything nonstop. I mean, we're moving caskets, we're, you know, adjusting clothing, we're adjusting hands and features, and, you know, we just, when I was in the cemetery, I can remember always trying to dust off markers before the family would get there. And you may or may, I'm, you may or may not have the opportunity to wash your hands in between all of those things. So making sure that you have sanit hand sanitizer on hand is almost like a personal protective method as well as a personal hygiene method. Speaking of hands, one thing that you always want to do is make sure that your fingernails are neat and clean. And in order to do that, you're going to need a pair of fingernail clippers 
and a nail file. Now, most of the time, I try to have a nail file on hand with a pointy end, but for some reason I can't find mine today, of course, because I'm trying to film a video. So just having these two items on hand will make sure that your nails are clean and tidy and that you're not snagging things. How many times have you guys snagged the deceased clothing with a uh, ragged fingernail? Isn't that the most like panic stricken thing that you can do or cause like anxiety and panic within? I know it does for me or you know just tearing your stockings or something like that. So speaking of nails, another thing that I try to have on hand is crazy glue. And the reason I try to keep this on hand is because if I'm wearing pop on nails, uh, I want to make sure that I can reapply a nail if one pops off. I quit paying $20, $30 to get my nails done at the salon a few years ago. So if I do have on nails, 9 out of 10 chances, they are the pop on nails that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And speaking of the Dollar Tree, everything that I'm showing in this video with the exception of two things that I'll let you know have come from the Dollar Tree. And actually three things. The bag didn't come from Dollar Tree, but you can get these types of bags at Dollar Tree. So crazy glue is something else that I try to keep on hand at all times. Another thing that I try to always have in my possession is a sewing kit. And even though this isn't necessarily considered a part of personal hygiene, I think it's imperative because it can affect our personal appearance. We can lose a button. I've had pants, clamps uh, pop before, zippers pop, and then it, all, it never hurts to have tape measure on hand. So a sewing kit is essential. And not only for you, but if something happens to the deceased clothes or buttons or, you know, any item that they have on, you can easily fix it in the casket very discreetly if you have a sewing kit on hand. So these next few items are uh, specifically geared towards female funeral directors. So heel grippers and ball of feet cushions. Ladies. Let me tell you something. Most of the time I wear flats now because I just don't want to be uncomfortable. And wearing heels all day for me is uncomfortable. Even in flats sometimes your heels rub up on the back and you get those nasty blisters. Or sometimes the shoe is a little bit too flat and you need some arch support or ball support. These things are a lifesaver. And again, you can grab, this was $2 at the Dollar Tree. This $2 is worth not having to experience the pain of your feet hurting. We are on our feet for hours at a time in many cases. So invest in things that can help you be as comfortable as possible. The next thing that I always, always, always make sure that I have are feminine cleansing cloths. And ladies, you know we sweat and it's summertime. Having, one or, having a pack or two of these in your purse and in your hygiene kit is essential. We can, you know, cleanse sweat from under our breast after being outside or in hot environments and after standing and moving around all day, just having these to cleanse ourselves with is, and have like a little refresher, it, it, it's a lifesaver and a game changer. So I always try to have some of these on hand. Now, the next item, is not new but again you'll have the gift card to go get whatever your brand is but I always try to keep deodorant on me because the one of my pet peeves is smelling must or musk like be someone being musty and I want to make sure that I'm not musty and especially working in the south in the summer I want to make sure I have deodorant on hand so I keep a stick of deodorant on hand. Most of the time it's a lot smaller, but this one was on sale for $2.50 as you can see. And normally it's like $4 or $5. So I bought the big one and I just squeeze it in there. The next thing that I always try to make sure that I have is lip balm. And right now I'm really liking Carmex. I go back and forth. But you always want to make sure that when you're communicating with others, because we speak to so many people 
on a daily basis just like your breath you want to make sure that your lips are not chapped and that you know you're not looking crazy when you're communicating with others so make sure you have some type of lip balm or lipstick um, on hand just so that you can appear to be you know put together and speaking of appearances and looking put together the last and final thing that I have in my uh, funeral director on the go self-care kit is makeup I keep concealer powder and a beauty blender on me at all times and the reason for this is like I said our days can start the night before and it is our responsibility to appear as professional and well put together as we can when we're working on families especially during arrangement conferences and funerals and the last thing that I want to do is look exhausted even if I am exhausted just putting a little bit of concealer under my eyes and blending in a little bit of powder can go can make me look fresh as a daisy when I'm feeling exhausted, drained, or sick. Um, I suffer with, or I don't want to say suffer, but I have hyperpigmentation under my eyes. So a lot of times I look tired even if I'm not tired. So concealer is my best friend because it gives me that bright and, you know, fresh look. So in order to win, in order to enter to win, Everything that you've seen here with the exception of the bag, the deodorant, and the makeup, all you have to do is comment what you put in your on-the-go self-care and hygiene kit or any items that you think that I've left out. Between myself and Manera from Funeral Divas, a winner will be selected and everything that you've seen here that was brand new and in the package will be sent along with a $20 gift card to Target. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure that you're following myself and Funeral Divas on social media if you haven't already. Live life, love hard, and I'll talk to you next time.